Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn how to become a better programmer. So before we start this video, I would like to give a quick introduction about myself. My name is Nikhil Malankand and I have been making games for more than 7 years now, primarily as a game programmer and I have also worked with a lot of technologies such as Android Studio, Xcode, as well as I have developed a few websites and I've also worked as a tech lead in a game development company where I used to mentor people as well as handle the code side of the company. Currently, I'm running my own game development company by the name of Game Yawn. So you can be rest assured that whatever things I will guide you through will be pretty much legitimate and speaking from my own experience. So let's dive right into the topic. If you want to become a better programmer, the first and foremost thing is you should have your basic knowledge cleared out. You should definitely have a clear understanding of how things work, how code works, how it communicates with the system. I'm not telling you to learn assembly language because maybe that might be too far-fetched for you but really do have a basic understanding of how things work in a programming language. It can be any programming language that you choose. You can choose C, C++, C Sharp. It doesn't matter. As long as you know the basic concepts of that particular language, you can easily pick up any other language. So that is definitely not an issue, but definitely, definitely, definitely do clear out your basic concepts of any programming language. Basic concepts such as what is a class, how do functions operate, what is public function, what is private function, then the use of variables, what are public variables, private variables, how can get set methods, in what way you can use if else statements, switch statements, for loops, etc, etc. There's a lot of things that is considered to be basic knowledge. So make sure you have a clear understanding of all the basics. That is the number one step to become a better programmer. As long as you don't have your basic knowledge cleared, it will be extremely difficult for you to pick up anything new. So that was the first point. Second point is, second major important point is, whenever you write code, always make it a habit that you write comments. Now this is a thing that many programmers avoid doing. You know, I've been guilty of doing this myself in my early years because what happens is whenever you write code, you're laser focused on the implementation and you kind of feel that writing comments is a waste of your time. But when you look at the same code, let's say five months later, six months later or a year later, and when you desperately want to understand what the heck you had written a year ago, it becomes very messy. So, so if you write comments in your code, it will be extremely easy for you to understand one year later. You will surely get a train of thought about what you had planned while writing the code. So writing comments is the second most important step to become a better programmer. Third is rely on debugging tools. So debugging is very important. Whenever you are stuck on a code, make sure you insert proper breakpoints wherever needed. If at all you get some kind of errors or unknown issues, unknown bugs that pop up, it is extremely critical that you know how to debug your code. There are a lot of extremely helpful tools available in today's day and age. One such extremely important tool that I would like to bring to your notice is PVS Studio Analyzer. PVS Studio Analyzer, as you can see, it supports C, C++, C Sharp and Java. So PVS Studio is a tool for detecting bugs and security weaknesses in the source code of the programs. It basically performs a static code analysis and generates a report that helps a programmer find and fix bugs. PVS Studio performs a wide array of code checks for you and it is also useful in finding misprints and copy paste errors. So it is extremely useful for you and it is supported in Windows, Linux and Mac OS. As you can see, PVS Studio is used by a lot of different types of customers. If I talk about game development, which this channel is focused about, so, so Warner Brothers Games, Codemasters, Oculus, Frag Lab are some of the most popular game development studios that use PVS Studio Analyzer. So I would definitely urge you to go and check out PVS Studio Analyzer and play around with it. If you use my code hashtag NM, you will get a 30 day trial period instead of the traditional seven day trial period. So definitely go and check out PVS Studio Analyzer and I hope this helps you become a better programmer. So that was the third point. Now fourth point is study other people's code. Most of the time, whenever we write code, we always think about uh, how we think, but when you are a programmer, you have to keep an open mind and explore options and get a sense of understanding of how they might have implemented or how they might have thought about the same problem that you are tackling right now. A lot of times what happens is we get stuck on some issue and then we can't really figure out how to proceed further. So it is extremely useful for us to look at other options as well. If you get stuck anywhere, I would recommend you to go visit stackoverflow.com and post up your question, which brings me to my next point. Uh, the fifth most important part is that if you get stuck anywhere, ask. If you just simply ask on forums, people are ready to help you. If you post a simple query on Stack Overflow, immediately within a few hours, you'll start getting some help from people who are genuinely interested in helping you out. So there are a lot of unknown friendly people on the internet that really help you out in any kind of stupid mistake that you do. As soon as you get stuck on something, 
feel free go visit these forums stackoverflow.com is one of the best sources to ask your questions shamelessly so utilize these platforms as well as the best friend that you will ever get in your programming career is definitely google so whatever questions you have blindly type it into google even your most basic and stupidest doubts will get answered directly if you simply just do a google search so that is one extremely critical factor for you to become a better programmer because what happens is even the most experienced of programmers sometimes face a roadblock which really hampers their productivity. There might be several reasons why this happens but if you just go up on Google and you know type in your queries you'll automatically fetch hundreds and thousands of results. So that is something that you should definitely utilize and in today's age it is extremely easy to find information. So utilize as much as possible. The next point is uh, watch online tutorials and keep on upgrading your knowledge with different different courses that are available. Never be stagnant. Always try to you know push further. Always try to learn something new. Never ever be stagnant in the programming world because as soon as you stop learning technology just upgrades itself at a very rapid pace and if you lose touch then it will be extremely difficult for you to get back into the field and kind of get your mojo back. So definitely do not slack out and always keep yourself updated with the latest technology in the market. Next tip is do not over complicate things. A lot of times we think that if we complicate things it will look better or you know uh, if I have more lines of code, it will look like I've done something, I've achieved something magnanimous. So that is not the case at all. Uh, always make sure that you write small blocks of code, which is self-explanatory. Always, whenever you write functions, make sure the names of those functions are properly given to them. Because majority of the times what happens is if you don't name your functions and classes properly, you yourself may get confused somewhere down the road that what the heck does this function do? Always use proper naming convention. Always make sure that you have a common structure to your code. Never mix up your bracket structure, your curly braces and all because having a clean structure is also very important. Clean and neat structure. Clean and neat structure that does exactly what it's supposed to do. Maintaining your code in a beautiful manner is also very critical. So these were a few tips from my side to become a better programmer if you like this video give it a thumbs up press the like button and if you're finding my channel for the first time definitely do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on my next videos i constantly keep making videos on games and game development primarily in the hindi language so that's it for this video i'll see you in my next video until then